Joining me tonight, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. Senator, good to have you with us. Couple of issues tonight, minimum wage and also climate change. Let's start with minimum wage. It's 2014, we're six months away. Is there anything, what is the last ray of hope if it's out there to get a minimum wage passed to help workers and pull them out of poverty in this country? Well, I think you're hearing some of the more sophisticated political Republicans understanding that if the Republicans continue to reject a raise in the minimum wage, it's going to hurt them significantly. Most Americans know that 725, the national minimum wage, is a starvation wage. And now we're beginning to hear some Republicans who say, look, you guys voted against extending long-term unemployment. You want to cut Medicaid. You want to transform Medicaid. You want to cut back on education. And now you don't want to raise the minimum wage. We're not going to get a lot of votes doing that. So I think we can this issue, I think we're going to win. And at the end of the day, you know what, Ed? I think we will raise the minimum so wage. So people that don't vote, Santorum, Pawlenty, and Romney, are the ones that are stepping up trying to drill some sense into the Republican Party right now and the conservative movement. And it's interesting that Mr. Romney, when he was running, I don't recall him advocating for a minimum wage increase at the time. All right, I, I think that some of these guys understand quite correctly that the Republican Party is identified with the top 1% more tax breaks for millionaires and billionaires, more throwing Americans out of work and moving to China. They get it. And if they want to win elections, they need to start paying some attention to the needs of low income and working families. So Boehner says it's bad policy. That means, uh, I think, for code, it's never even going to be brought up for a vote. So this will uh, be an election issue. I am not so sure, to be honest with you, if we can pass it in the Senate, you know, I'm not sure that there are some Republicans who are running for re-election who may not want to see it passed. Well, what do you think has to change? They tried the Keystone Pipeline last week on it. It didn't work. Well, what I think has to change is that millions and millions of people have got to tell the Republican leadership and members of Congress that it is unconscionable that when people are making poverty wages that they were not raising the minimum wage. As you well know, Compared to 1968, if the minimum wage went up with inflation, it would today be somewhere around $10.50 an hour. Senator, so, let, let the, let, let's talk climate change quickly if we can. The National sure. Climate Assessment out, and it had a three-year study over uh, 300 of the best scientists that this country has. And yet Marco Rubio, who says he's ready to be president of the United States, has says that we've always had changes in the climate, and he doesn't believe the scientists. I mean, isn't this a message to big oil, hey, I'm your guy, uh, and, and isn't that the message to big oil and maybe even the Koch brothers that you can count on me to carry your water? I think absolutely. I think it's also a message to the Republican base that continues to reject virtually all of the scientific work on this issue. And I got to tell you, you know, what the scientists are telling us is that time is running out. That unless we transform our energy system away from fossil fuel into energy efficiency and sustainable energy, our kids and our grandchildren are going to be living in a very unhospitable planet. Well, that, that's, that's a 180 from where the Republican Party is right now. I mean, but, but what Rubio said, isn't that the ultimate denial you've ever heard? I, it, you know, it really, <laughs> just... I got I to say this, Ed. You know, I really have to say that. Look, you and I have all kinds of differences with Republicans. But to totally reject what the scientific community is saying is really embarrassing for our nation, frankly. Yeah. Senator Bernie Sanders, great to have you with us tonight. Thanks so much. Still ahead, Donald Sterling apologizes but deflects blame for his racist comments. Rapid response panel weighs in. And